This is Joseph Strickland. He was a very misunderstood YouTuber who was known for his rant videos. He talked a lot about girls going for the bad, bad boys and how they should give the nice guys a chance. Today we're going to be reviewing one of his videos here that he left behind for us where he again goes into great detail on all of this. Now a lot of folks like to kind of laugh and poke fun at old, old Joseph Strickland, but today we're going to we're going to take this from a different angle. I'm really really going to try to imagine that uh, if I had if I had maybe a son and and he talked to me like this, the way Joseph is going to talk to us, I'm going to try to pick up on exactly what I would say to him. I'm going to try to imagine exactly what I would say to him to help him out. Because I think if Joseph could have gotten some help, things could have been different for him. Real different. With that having been said, uh, if you're looking forward to this, please let me know with that thumbs up below. It really helps out the channel. And let's begin. Joe here. I'm going to boost the audio for us. I'm going to sing a song for you ladies out there that are getting heartbroken by your boyfriends and all that stuff and you know the girls that go out with bad guys and stuff this is for you you need a good guy I will mention something like this at the end of the video now here's me singing let me love you by Mario so he's gonna sing let me love you by Mario love the way that he says that I, I think it's a cool accent that they have up in Canada um but he's going to sing the song. We're going to skip past the song because past the song is where he really starts diving into uh, his ideas, his thoughts that he wants to share here. And something else to note is Joseph Strickland, most of his videos, he was kind of gangsta, gangsta dressed. He wore these hats like the fitted caps and the big baggy, baggy, should I say, clothes. And, um, you know, he's very, very trying to be more gangsta. But this was kind of in between the time that he had become gangsta and when he was still in the emo phase. Isn't it fascinating how sometimes we can uh, associate ourselves with certain groups of people? Maybe they're gangsters, maybe they're emos, and uh, you know we can find some find some peace in that. So here's after the song. Here's here's where Joseph starts going in here. Watch this. Mario's "Let Me Love You." Watch All right, this. girls, that was me singing Mario's "Let Me Love You." Now, if you understand the lyrics, you'll know it's not about loving the bad guy. It's about loving the good guy. Mm. You should get a good guy and not a bad guy because bad guys only hurt your feelings. They're not there for you. If you like the punishment, ruin your life. Go ahead. But it's not going to make you any better. One day, you're going to go for a good guy like me. All right. So again, we're going to try to approach this from the angle of Joseph is our son, okay? He's our son and he's he's making these videos and we see him, him see him making the videos. We hear him in his room doing this and we're going to talk to him about it. So let's let's do this. All right, son. Let's check this out, son. Check it out. Talking about the good guys and the bad guys. Huh. Mm, this is deep stuff. It really is. Good guys. What makes you a good guy? What makes you a good guy? We can also say what makes you good at being a guy, right? Is it your morals and values? Is it how you're going to treat somebody? Is it what you're achieving? Is it what's going on in your mind? Is it what you want for others and yourself? Who gets to decide whether you're a good guy or not? And do you really think being a good guy is going to be the ultimate determining factor in whether or not you're able to uh, attract girls to you? Huh, I'd say well, these are all things we should consider, Joe. These are all things we consider and we can work through them together. We can. We can't. We're not. We're not going to give up on our son. Please hit that thumbs up right now if you refuse to give up on our son. I'm a good guy. I'm not a bad guy at all. I'm a very nice guy. Now I might not sing the best in the world. Probably not the best ever. But I think I did a pretty good job. Now. So he says there. He says I'm a nice guy. Okay, we're talking to him. Joe, Joe, being a nice guy, being a really, really nice guy, you know what it'll probably result in a lot of times? Having you be that nice friend is what it'll be. If she wants to have you be her friend. But that's probably the best that's going to get you if you're just a really, really nice guy, right? Because for her to want to be with you, there's got to be attraction there, right? Attraction. 
And being nice doesn't make you attractive. It doesn't make you attract. It can be a plus if you are attractive. But just in general, just being a nice person is not going. It's not really going to make you attractive, right? We got to say, what are the things that she's attracted to? Find out what those are, what those qualities are, and then do your best to become that, right? And we can do that, son. We can do it. We're going to together, okay? We're going to do this. It's okay. It's okay. I would love a girlfriend, somebody hot, somebody who's sexy, somebody who looks amazing. And, and that's something else, son. You heard you saying in one of your videos that you don't want to be with bigger girls at all. You're saying you don't want to have to be with bigger girls. And, and son, the thing is, that's not, that's not a way to be talking now. Let's, let's not be talking about folks like that. You know, I mean, especially if we ourselves are kind of bigger too, or just even if you're not big, that's not the way to be talking about folks, son. Let's not do that, okay? Let's not talk about people like that. I mean, he, he says that he says that the quote-unquote hot girls don't want to be with him, but then he says he wants the hot girls, so uh, I, I'm, I'm getting disappointed in you, my son. But has that personality that I want. I just want a girlfriend who's pretty, who's hot, who's sexy, who has a personality, and everything like that. Girls, if you're a hot girl and you go out with bad guys, please stop. But son, how is making videos like this gonna 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 change that how is it it's not right there have been so many young lads who have made videos like this trying to convince girls to stop going out with certain types of guys but making those videos they're not going to make a change matter of fact you know what they will result in my son a lot of times they result in people trying to make videos mocking you laughing at you end up on people's podcasts and stuff everybody having a good time at your expense right that's not what we want Check this out, my son. I want you to listen here, little brother. We're gonna make it, alright? If this world we live in is a big arena, and there's a lot of competition everywhere, you know? Whatever we want, we're kind of competing for it, right? Whatever we want to go out and get, you want to go out and tame some strange? You want to go out and get knee-deep in some guts? You want to go out and make some moolah? You want to be able to get that nice, nice house, right? You're gonna have to compete in certain ways, right? But complaining about the competition or the arena, what's that really going to bring you, right? What does complaining about the competition or the arena bring you? It's not going to bring us anything, son. So let's not do that. Let's not complain about the game. Let's just find out how to play in the arena. And there's always a way to play. There's always a way to play. Might you have some disadvantages? Sure, you might have some disadvantages. But you know what? Through dedication, you can rise in that arena. You can compete and you can win, all right? We all can, you know? You can do it, son. You can do it. We just gotta start somewhere. A and doing these sorts of things, this ain't gonna do it for you, little brother. It's getting you nowhere, and the bad guys are only hurting your feelings. That's not good. You need a real man. I'm a real man. I swear to God I am. But what makes one a real man? You know, what makes one a real man? There's some deep, deep conversations we can have here, son. What makes you a real man? Everyone's got different opinions on what makes you a real man. Hell yeah. I'd say a great starting point in being a real man is developing, developing character, solid character, right? Having foundations. But if we want to talk about being a man, let's also talk about being able to provide for ourselves, take care of ourselves, which is a goal, a very, very beautiful thing to achieve and accomplish that is going to make you feel so good. It's going to make you feel so right. It's going to make you feel so good. And upon, upon achieving that, you'll lose some of this desire for, uh, for someone to show you this sort of love and affection. <clears throat> How can I say? It's not going to be as important to you. You're gonna have a goal. You're gonna have a goal that you've worked towards, some things that you've achieved. You're gonna feel good about yourself. And you're not gonna give a damn what kind of guys uh, girls are wanting. You're not gonna care. You're gonna say, let them do what they do, babe. 
You're gonna say, I'm on my path, I'm on my grind. You're gonna say, I've got the value, I know what I've got. And you know what? The ladies are gonna see that. But complaining about this, that ain't gonna attract them to you. They're gonna think you're a loser is what they're gonna think, right? We don't want them to think that about you, son, cause you're not, right? Even though you may be acting like, sort of like a loser right now, deep within you is not that. We just got, we just gotta clear this shit out the way, little son. And we're gonna do it, alright? It's never too late. It's never too late. You can become, you can become whoever you want to become, little brother. You can shine. You can grind. You can get knee deep in some guts. Knee deep in some poontang, any kind you like. Whatever flavor you may desire can be yours. But doing this ain't getting you no closer to it, little brother. And I tell you, there's just been so many of these folks who have made these videos. And I don't want you to be like them, my son. I don't want you to be making these videos on here, trying to convince girls to give you a chance and stuff, because it doesn't work. Ask the Supreme Gentleman, for goodness gracious sake. Dang. The only thing I won't do is go to movies. I don't like movies, you gotta realize that. I like playing video games, love going for walks, if it's nice so, I'll do anything you want with you. You gotta realize, ladies, that you need a real man. But again, what makes someone a real man? Like, if we're gonna say I'm a real man, what makes one a real man? You know? Is it playing the video games? Is that going what makes it? No, that's... Now we're kind of just talking smack. You know, ain't nothing wrong with video games in moderation, right? I tell you, I do believe that a lot of folks play the video games as a sort of a... A way to escape what they see as a boring and mundane world. But I tell you what, son. Once you have that path that you're on and that goal that you're pursuing and you're getting closer to it, you're making it. This world ain't gonna be quite so mundane anymore. It's gonna be beautiful. And you're gonna appreciate it and love it. Cause you're gonna say, man, I'm competing now. I'm doing my thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cause the bad guys, they only want sex. They don't want love. They wanna break your heart. Like this. They want to break your heart. Are there a lot of those guys out there who may just want to, you know, just get in the guts and that's all. And they don't even want love. And they kind of want to go through, uh, go through those ladies. They want to go through one by one by one, you know, adding notches to the belt, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's a lot of, a lot of those guys out there, you know. A lot of those ladies out there who will be doing the same thing, you know. That's them, though. That's them. Don't concern yourself with them. You don't need to give them any control over your life, over your journey. Stop giving them control. Since the dawn of man, creatures been out there getting it on, making sweet love all night long. You don't need to let that concern you, upset you. Don't worry about them. Worry about yourself, little brother. We're gonna make it, okay? We're gonna make it. Don't you be worried about them, babe. They're gonna do what they do. And you know what? If he's achieving that, and he's getting all those notches on his belt, and he's doing it, you getting upset about it, and saying, oh, you don't like this, you're jealous, you're upset, all that's gonna do is bring you down. Don't worry about what other people achieve, or what they fail at. Don't do that, little brother. Don't do that. Worry about yourself. Focus on yourself. Every moment you waste worrying about what someone else is doing, that you're stealing that from yourself. Don't give that focus to them. Focus on yourself. You can do amazing things, my son. Amazing things. They want to ruin your life. Ladies of Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. If you get hurt by a bad guy, one of those swag faggots, come to me. I'll show you what love is. Hey, okay. I'll show you exactly what love is. Yeah. If, it's, if you're going to say, oh, this relationship doesn't work, oh, this and that, I'm going back to my ex, that's not going to work against me. I'm going to prevent you from doing that. Yeah, no, man. You got to stop this. Stop trying to convince them to be with you. Don't try to convince them of anything. Sometimes folks try so hard to convince people of things, right? gotta ask yourself why are you gonna waste your time trying to convince someone of something just do what you do be you focus on you and you do that you're not gonna have to convince anyone of anything 
Cause you're gonna be doing your thing, little brother. It's okay, my son. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's it's not okay. It, it's over for you. It's over. Because I know what real love is. Real love isn't sex. Real love is just pure love. Kisses on the cheeks, hugs, and everything. It's to show you love. No, 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 no. That's not the love that he's talking about, man. Son, you're not talking about love. What you're talking about, son, is, uh... You're talking about this feeling that guys can get where... It's like out of desperation, right? It's desperation, it's jealous, it's jealousy, it's resentment. To the point of where you, you're just, you're longing for something. You're longing for something, son. You feel you've got a void and you want it fulfilled, right? And you're longing, and you're longing, and you're longing. And you're longing. And now we see the goal that we desire, right? In this case, it's the relationship, right? But there's a path to that. Whatever it is, there's a path to it, son. There's a path to it. But we always have to ask ourselves, am I on the path towards it? Or am I on the path away from it? Or am I on neither? And again, making these videos, it's not getting any closer to you. It's, it's not. Working on yourself will, though, right? Working on yourself, right? Take the specimen that is achieving what you desire. Take that specimen, take that Chad, and find ways to become closer to that specimen. And as a result, you will attract to you whatever you desire. You can do it, son. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't get mad about the arena. Don't get angry. Don't hate the arena. Don't complain about the arena. Learn the arena and play the arena. Don't complain about it. Just play it. Learn to play it. You have to be dedicated to it, to the game, dedicated to the game. Don't complain about it. It will never move you any closer towards the goal. And all that it is, is a pure cope. Respect and everything you need. Go love and protection. That's all you need. You need me, hot ladies. You need me, girls. You don't need a bad guy. You don't need a swag fag. You don't need a swag person. You don't need anybody who thinks they have swag. You need someone like me, a real friggin' man. And also, let's, let's throw this in there too, son. Because this is something to consider too. If this, this love interest you have, whoever she may be, if she wants to be with the swag, the swag, you know what, I'm not going to say it. I, I don't know if you should be saying that word or not. But if she wants to be with that swag guy, son, okay? With the maybe the skinny jeans or the, the hats and stuff, you know, and all that. And that listens to that music that comes on the radio and stuff. If that's who she wants to be with, why are you going to try to change her mind? Why are you going to try to get her to be with you, son? Why? Tell me. I want to know. Because you want her love? You don't want her love. You don't even like who she is. All you want is to get in her guts because you don't even know her. You don't know these girls you're trying to talk to right now in this video. You don't know who they are. You don't know a damn thing about them other than the kind of guys that they're attracted to. Yet you desire them? Just like Little Supreme Gentleman talking about how he wanted these beautiful blonde girls so bad. All he wanted was to get in their guts. He didn't know who they were or care about them or like them. Matter of fact, he hated them. Same thing here. I think you, son, I think you're kind of starting to hate them too. And when you start to hate all these ladies that you don't even know, it's not good. It's going to eat you up. It's going to tear you to pieces. It's going to break you down, little brother. So admit it. Admit it. Admit it right now, little brother. Say, you know what? All I want is those guts. You say, man, I'm attracted to her physically. I just want those guts, baby. That's all I want. Right? You don't love her. You don't even know her. You don't know anything about her. 
other than she likes to take part in certain activities and likes certain types of guys. That's all. You're just attracted to her and want to get off in her guts, which is a perfectly normal biological reaction, little brother. Now, when you see it that way, you can see that those, those, those swagsters who are getting off in her guts, again, it's just purely biological. You say they don't care about it, they don't like it, they don't, they don't, uh, it's biological. Humans get it on. They do. They do, little brother. Don't get mad about that shit. Don't worry about it. Focus on yourself. Just focus on yourself. You know on the block you live, you know how many people are banging each other's guts out every single night on the block you live. Why are you going to worry about it? When you're in bed, are you going to be thinking about that? Why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you. Don't worry about that. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Okay? And you know what, little brother? All those swagsters getting off in all those guts, you know what's going to happen. Them, them folks going to start popping out babies. They're going to have all kinds of babies. And you think they're going to stay together? Do you think they're going to stay together? You think the Chads and the Stacys hooking up, getting off in those guts, busting all kinds of nuts, you think they're going to stay together? Of course they're not. And then poor little babies going to grow up without one of their parents, probably without the dads. The dads don't really stick around. They leave. And, uh, them poor babies ain't gonna have no guidance, man. Maybe she'll be able to get him to, uh, you know, at least pay some child support. And some guys have child support for multiple, multiple babies and baby mamas. And, and you're not gonna have to worry about any of that. You're not gonna have to worry about any of that, son. As long as you focus on yourself. And stay away from all that. Stay away from it, okay? Just stay away from it. Just stay away from it. Literally, a real man. I'm a real man. There are many real men in this world. And they're all looking for a hot, sexy looking girl with personality just like you. And if you're not going to go out with the good guys... But what personality are you talking about though, son? What personality are you talking about? You're not talking about personality, you're talking about her body. That's all you're talking about, you don't know her personality. And if you come to learn her personality, you're probably not even gonna like her. Let's be honest. And he doesn't either. Chad doesn't like her either. He just likes getting off in a guts. It's the exact same thing you want, and you're so upset that you don't get. You're not gonna get any dessert tonight if you keep this up, son. You wanna go over with the bad guys? It's going to ruin your life. No joke. What you need to do is realize what you're going through. You need to know that most bad guys are pretty dumb, pretty stupid. Only listen to the same music and over and over and over and over. Okay, I don't listen to country. Mm, dumb and stupid. You said bad guys are dumb and stupid. I don't think Darth Vader would be too happy about that. Hey, no, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Being dumb and being stupid, you know? It's not fair. You should be with someone like me. Intelligent. Sophisticated. <laughs> We're reminded of Supreme Gentlemen on that. But the thing is, those brains ain't gonna get you the boom. Having brains ain't gonna get you brain, alright? That's not how this world works, right? Now, if you're smart, that can be a plus, right? Not only is he handsome, he's so intelligent. <laughs> so look, son, listen, son, if you are smart, if you've got intelligence in there, if you've gained some wisdom throughout your years, my son, then that's going to be a plus. That's going to be a real plus. When we add it on to everything else. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But those brains, having brains ain't gonna get your brain though. That's not how this world we live in works. Unless your brains are so good that you're able to manipulate people into giving you what you want from them. Then you have some brain. Then you have some brain. But you're obviously not at that point because you don't know how to manipulate them into giving you what you want from them. All you're doing is complaining, son. And like I told you earlier, son, complaining's not gonna get you anything, brother. Mm. But still, they listen to the same shit over and over and over. 
they only want sex, they only want to break your heart, they don't know what real love is, they don't know what music is. I'm telling you. They don't know what real music is. You need to look at real music. Look at the older stuff. Like the the 90s, the early 2000s, the mid to late 2000s. There are some exceptions of today's music that I like. So Joe, Joe talks about music a lot too. Son, I know you talk about this music. You know, the late 90s, early 2000s, hip-hop and R&B. You talk about it a lot, you know? And hey, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. I used to listen to that stuff back then too. I did. Ch -ch 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 unit! But as time continues on, time changes. Time changes, the music changes, the clothing style changes. Folks go from wearing baggy jeans to skinny jeans, back to baggies, and then back to skinnies. And I don't even know what is that now, man. I just, I wear shorts that I get from Walmart for like 10 bucks and stuff. But the point is, as time continues, things change. Don't get upset about it. Don't be, don't be upset about it. Now just know that's the way it works. You don't need to get upset about it. You don't need to get worked up over it. Something else, my son. You ever go on Twitter? Twitter, a lot of fighting on Twitter. A lot of people upset about things on there. A lot of stuff. People get so worked up about things. I've known some people throughout my life that you, you try to have a conversation with them and all they want to do is tell you how upset they are about this or that, things they're getting worked up over. And, and listen, son, I, when, when I hear people saying these things, I say, I say, how is that, uh, I say, how is that going to affect you though, right? They say, oh, of course, they say, this is gonna, this needs to be stopped. They say, this isn't right. This is going on, this is going on. This movie had this character playing this role. This, and I, and I say, I say, that don't affect me. I say, I'm not gonna worry about that. They say, but what about, what about this? What about that? I say, son, listen, I say, what kind of control do I have over that? I say, how is that going to benefit me in any way? They say, well, you need to think about everyone else. I say, I tried thinking about everybody else. That doesn't really do much for you. You got to focus on what you're in control of, little man. That's your life. Don't waste your life being concerned about what everybody else is doing or not doing. Or who's playing what roles and what movies and stuff. That's not, you're not in charge of that. People are. Certain people are, trust me. Certain people are. But not you. So don't waste your precious thoughts about that kind of stuff, man. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's gonna hold you back from getting your goals and shit. Hell yeah. But there's not many. Now, ladies, what would you rather go out with? A bad guy, or as I call them, swag fags, or a real man who will give you love and protection, everything you need, like me. Probably the one that she's physically attracted to. That's, prob that's probably it. That's all there is to it. But it's not too late. You can become the one that she is physically attracted to. You can become that person. But it's a journey. It's a path. It's a path. We're going to do it. I'm not going to give up on you, son. I'm not going to give up on you. You're my only hope. What would you rather? Would you rather have a swag fag who breaks your heart, wants sex, only wants you, and no one else? Or would you rather have me, a pure love person, somebody who loves girls that are hot, that are sexy looking, that have the personality, that have everything I want. That she's not gonna choose you though, son. Not at this point. We have to work towards to get there where she's gonna choose you, okay? We gotta work to get there. But we can, you can do it. I know it may seem like it's impossible right now. You know, it may seem so far off in the distance, but no. The sooner you start, the sooner you're going to get there. But we got to transform, man. We got to transform. Let me tell you a quick story here about the orangutans, okay? Some of you may have heard about this, the orangutans. 
The orangutans are beautiful, amazing, fascinating creatures. They truly are. And when the male orangutan matures, if he's fortunate, that male orangutan develops what's called flanges. Flanges. And he becomes, he becomes flanged. And these, fl maybe it's called flangs. I learned about it recently, okay? But trust me, this is really good. You gotta listen. And if he develops those flangs on his face, flanges, or however it's said, then his face becomes very, very, like, pads. We call them Chad pads is what we call them. Because his face has these huge pads on it. It looks so weird. And once he develops those Chad pads, whenever he wants to mate, all he has to do is go... <coughs> <laughs> and whenever he does that, the, the lady orangutans, they, they come running. They come running and spreading and they are ready for some good orangutan loving. Now, on the contrary, whenever that mature adult male orangutan does not develop his chad pads, the lady orangutans, they'll actually bond together and protect each other from those male orangutans because they don't want to have anything to do with them. And the only way that those those male orangutans without their flanges, that, that, that they can get off in guts, is basically if they, uh, it's actually pretty devastating. They have to, like, attack and force their way in there because those lady orangutans don't want to have anything to do with them. They want to, they would much rather, those lady orangutans would much rather share themselves amongst the few adult male orangutans with chad pads than have anything to do with the other, with the other orangutans, the male orangutans that don't have their flanges. They're called unflanged. So I tell you this because I'm going to ask you right now, the unflanged male orangutans, what good would it do them complaining about the fact that because they don't have flings, that they don't have flings or whatever the hell you call it, what good would it do them to complain about that? Make videos telling those lady orangutans, please give an unflanged orangutan a chance. It wouldn't do any good. You know what's going to happen? Those lady orangutans are going to watch it and laugh. All right? You know what else is going to happen? Those, those chad orangutans with their chad pads, the flanged ones, they're going to watch it too while they're stroking their flangs. And they're going to be laughing too. Right? Instead, what's more important, what's a better choice, what's a better option is for those adult male orangutans that don't have their flings to develop their flings. Now, you know what? A lot of those orangutans, they don't have that option. They don't have that choice. It's too late for them. They can't develop their flings. But you know what? It's not too late for you, son. You can develop those flings. You have, you have every opportunity in the world because you're a human. And we have control over lots of things about ourselves, everything about ourselves. We can we can become whoever we want to become. Develop those flings, brother. Develop those flings. But can love me just as good, if not better than a swag fag. I am a better person. I am a good guy. Ladies, you really do need to realize this, because if you don't, all you girls of Sydney, Nova Scotia, I'm telling you this right now. You really need that man in your life. You need me or a good guy in real life. You don't need this swag, faggot, asshole kind of guy. You just need pure love and respect and protection. That's me, baby. Damn. Laying down the law, son. Laying down the law. Love the confidence. Love the confidence. Sometimes, though, we have confidence that, uh... That's not really warranted, if that makes sense. Because you can't convince her to see the value in you. Not in this state. She's gonna see the value in who she sees the value in. Right? You can't just force her to see value in you and want to be with you. You can't force that on her. You can't convince her either. You just got to show. You just got to show that you're, that you're about that life. That there's a reason for her to want to have something to do with you. You got to show her. Whether it's how you look, whether it's that confidence, whether it, whatever you do, you got to have something that's going to bring them to you, you know? 
Hell yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You ever, you ever heard of this actor? He was an absolutely amazing actor. Absolutely amazing man. Amazing. His name was Chris Farley. Chris Farley was amazing. Very funny. So hilarious. Chris Farley, rest in peace. He's in a better place now. He's watching down over all of us. So damn funny. Down by the river! In a van down by the river. So damn funny. But he had his way with those ladies. They loved him. They thought he was so damn funny. They thought he was so cool. They loved him. He was a big boy. He was heavyset. And he used it to his advantage with his acting, with his roles, with everything. He played it off. He, he, really, he really worked it. It was so funny. But before he was rich and famous, he still, did, he still did his thing. He was chatting so hard. He was a pure chat, right? And why, why was that? It's because my man had so much damn personality. He was so freaking funny. He was so just awesome. And everybody loved him, including the ladies. And he never had any trouble when he was in college. I'm, again, I'm talking about before he was rich and famous. He never had any trouble with those ladies. He could attract them to him just like that because he had ultra, ultra personality. See? So, uh, something that happens so many times with these, with these individuals who make these videos complaining about this sort of stuff is they claim that they have personality, but maybe they need to take a step back. Son, maybe you need to take a step back and ask yourself, do you really have that personality? And if you do, and if you're sure of it, how much of it are those ladies getting to actually see and experience? Say, you say, maybe you say they don't give me a chance. They don't know, right? Well, maybe we're going to readjust and say, how do you put yourself in a position where they will give you a chance? All right? There's always a way. There's always a way, son. Now, like I asked you before, what would you rather? A swag fake who's only going to break your heart, only wants sex, doesn't want anything else, doesn't know how to love, listens to the same shit over and over, or would you rather me? They're gonna choose the swagster. A pure, loving guy who listens to different music like trance, listen to some top 40, I listen to Addo Contemporary that was made in the late 90s and early 2000s and so forth, and rock, and, well, melodic death metal, trance, and rap, and techno. I listen to electronic and... Th them girls don't care about that music stuff, brother. Don't worry about that. They don't care about that. They don't care about that music stuff. Some may, most don't. They don't care if you listen to techno and stuff. Actually, if you listen to techno, that might be a deal breaker for them. I don't know. Anybody still listen to techno? <laughs> now stop worrying about all that, okay? Something else to consider too is maybe those, maybe those swagsters, they've got more options, huh? And maybe this position you're in, son, it may come off like you're the, uh, like, like you don't have the options. And then that makes her feel like she's not a prize. It makes her feel like she's settling for someone who's, who's desperate and, and she's the only one who they will give a chance to, right? Yeah, that's not what we want, man. We're gonna make it, little brother. Dubstep. I listen to a lot of stuff. Dubstep? It's been a minute since I heard about that shit. Okay. And also, I have a heart of gold, which you really hot ladies don't even know. Alright? Please, ladies. Understand me. I'm there for you. You ever need... You ever need someone who's a good guy that you could have a long-lasting relationship with? Come to me. I will be your man. Forever. And ever. That's, that's something else, son. Listen, son. So often you say in your videos, I, I've heard you say, someone you can marry in the near future. You say that so often in your videos, my son. And I want to tell you that being in a rush to marry somebody that you just started dating or whatever, being in a rush to marry them, is, is no matter who you are or what you have going for you, that's one of the stupidest things you can ever do. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
marriage is something very serious. It's it's very long term. It's something so serious. And if you're going to marry somebody, don't be looking to do it in the near future. You really got to get to know them well before you go taking a step like that. Yeah. Yeah. Any of you hot girls around seen Nova Scotia, the ones that look absolutely hot or are a little bit above average or just above average or anything like that who has a personality. I don't care what you do as long as you don't make me do it. Okay? I'm there for you. There are good guys there for you. Please realize this, ladies. Okay? Joe out. Alright. Hope you realize this shit. Because your sway buddy and your sex slave and whatever, they're not going to be around for long. Unlike me, I won't die anytime soon. So, peace the fuck out. Alright, son. Okay, son. I hope that we've made some progress here today. I hope we've learned some things. I hope you stop doing these videos. Just work on yourself. That's all. Don't worry about these people. Don't worry about who's hooking up, who's not hooking up. Whether it's a crime and injustice that they don't want someone as supreme, as sophisticated as you are. Just don't worry about it. Just worry, worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. And you're going to make it. We're all going to make it. Hey, if you enjoyed this <laughs> 40, 41 minutes of... of pure entertainment please hit that thumbs up it really helps out and uh yeah i look forward to seeing you again so very soon until next time my friends much love peace and chicken grease